Hey everybody, Brian Butler here at the end of September with a Fidelitas update. I want to thank you for all of your support as we're now three and a half, almost four weeks in to our family mission trip. And we're up here right now in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm here at Our Lady of Grace Catholic Church. And here is Our Lady, who I've been hanging out with a little bit this afternoon. And uh, I could tell you so many stories of the things that have happened in the last three or four weeks of how God has provided uh, and done wonderful things. I could tell you about a young man uh, who you know, I mentored and our kids witnessed too, who's experiencing uh, sexual confusion, gender dysphoria. Uh, I could talk to you about uh, the, the family that I met who's, uh, you know, really trying to mentor these parents that are walking closely with their daughter, who's actually a teenager experiencing similar things. I could talk to you about the many talks that we've done at the parishes we've been at so far. We've done young adult nights, we've done couples nights, we've done uh, a men's talk, we've done uh, Theology of the Body, general TOB 101 talks. Uh, we've had worship, we've had adoration, we've encouraged people into confession. We've had a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations and we've been spending a lot of time with families uh, who, who need to hear encouragement in the gospel or need specific prayers or mentoring in a particular part of their life. But the thing I wanna share with you briefly, more in detail, is about the man that I just met. Um, he's 49 years old, uh, abandoned when he was young uh, and abused by his own father and by many other people in his life uh, for many years. And I met him today as he's now feeling called by God to go back to his father who's on his deathbed. And uh, I can't tell you how beautiful, whew, can't tell you how beautiful this afternoon has been to witness uh, a man so wounded and at a pivot point in his life, walking into this church right here, and I get a chance to meet him and to talk with him and to pray with him and to connect him here with the pastor and for us to then uh, be able to pray with him some more and help him get on his way and to hopefully have the strength to forgive his father and to go back to his father. And he told me just a little while ago, the pastor said something beautiful. He said, you know, your father who's hurt you so badly uh, remember the fact that even though you're scared to go back to him and to forgive him, your father is probably also scared because he doesn't even believe that he deserves your forgiveness. And the man told me afterwards that he'd never ever thought of that and that he was holding on to uh, a new piece of, of wisdom as he goes on his journey. And we we're able to get him some food and help him to be able to, to get the bus ticket that he needs to, to go home. And so if you think of it, to pray for him and for his father, who's on his deathbed, his father's name is Joseph. And uh, so I'm interceding to St. Joseph. And there are so many other stories of God doing good things out here on the road. And uh, I'm so grateful to all of you. And I want to encourage each one of you that we never know what our last day will be. Whatever the discord and the divides that there might be in your own family, I want to encourage you to initiate reconciliation, to not wait. And I want to encourage you to continue to be generous because God is so much more generous with each one of us than we can ever be here on earth with those that he's calling us to support. And so thank you. Love y'all. Praying for you. Talk to you again soon. God bless.